Bed Wars just got a huge update, and this is only half of it. Today I'm going to be going over the new maps, the changes, the new quests, the achievements, the prestiges, all of that. So enjoy. Okay, we're on the new map, Ambush, and wow, this is a huge map, like, this is just already big. I, I mean, all the maps are pretty big nowadays, but like, this is pretty big. And Hypixel just updated Bed Wars, so we got four new solos and doubles maps, and I think we got three new threes and fours maps. Now, this is my first time playing this map, but I'm just gonna guess that we rushed this way. I like this little rock in between. I'm glad it's not just like a straight, like, billion block rush like Babylon or something. Ooh, this little under place seems really nice. It could be good for like, hiding or invis rushing or something. Really interesting. Nice, we got that guy. So Hypixel updated a lot, and they actually said that this isn't really the bulk of the update. This is just all the quality of life fixes and the small updates. It's still a lot, but these are just the little stuff. The big thing, which is mostly, and I'm pretty sure it's been leaked a little bit, it's called Dragon's Descent, I'm pretty sure. It's something like that. It's based off of the Angel's Descent in Sky Wars. And it's gonna be for like long time sweats or like people that grind bedwars so they can actually have a reward for playing as long as they do. And honestly, like I'm really excited for that because I I don't think there's really any reward for playing bedwars other than getting stars or like new prestiges. Speaking of new prestiges, they just added all the new star colors, the, st the prestiges, for uh 3000 to 5000 stars and you know I don't think I'm ever going to get to 3000 but still like that's that's insane I guess War OG actually has a reason to grind again maybe manhole maybe getting back on the leaderboards you never know my gosh can you go in around the back here <gasps> wait can you yo this is cool Okay, all that and I still die. Okay, so we got four new maps in solos, and I'm, I'm gonna be playing on all four of the maps today. This is number one, it's called Ambush. It's not that bad so far. The next thing they did was they added more quests, and this this will make it much easier to grind Bed Wars, because right now you can only get, I think, well, based on the quests only, you can get a good three stars a week, I think. But they added, they added new quests and they updated the old quests, so now you can get like 6 stars a week, and it's kind of crazy. They made it so the one more game quest, which you have to play two games in Bed Wars, uh, you get 250 Bed Wars XP, which you actually didn't used to get. They added a new daily quest called Pain Somnia, and you have to break three beds in Bed Wars, which that'll be easy, that's, that's an easy uh, daily one to do. Then they added a new daily one called Headhunter, which you get 15 final kills in Bed Wars, and they added a new weekly one called Finishing the Job, which is get 150 final kills a week, and I don't know if that's a lot or not. I guess we'll just have to see how much it is this week, and maybe if, you can, if I can even get 150 finals this week, because it's already like halfway through the week, but we'll see. And they also updated the challenge quest, so you have to complete 5 challenges instead of just play 10 challenges. So now you actually have to complete the challenges, so you might want to do more of the diffuse traps, I'm thinking. Or the diffuse challenges. Um, I can't really think of what other easy challenge there would be. There's probably other ones, I, I can't really think of them right now though. Hypixel actually added new practice modes to Bed Wars. Although, the ones that already exist are the bridging one, the TNT and firewall jumping one, and... Oh, the ladder clutching and... Uh, water clutching ones. Those already exist. But the ones that they just added are pearl clutching and, uh, like, bow, bow practice. So that should be really interesting, because I'm very bad at pearl clutching. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Like, I'm, I mean, hopefully this helps me improve, uh, improve my pearl clutching ability, but we'll see, because I'm, I'm really bad at pearl clutching. Back to the Bedwars maps. Overall, this map is pretty good. I like it. Um, it's, it's a little big. I think I would queue it regularly. It's not too weird or goofy like any of the other maps. Wow, this guy is really trying to clutch this. And he just walked off. I didn't even get the final. But, uh, hey. GG's. I'd give this like a 7 out of 10. Okay, we're on the Bed Wars map in Pier. Now this is really weird, because this is like all inside. 
I think getting to your bed might be a little bit of an issue, considering you spawn back here, but, you know, hopefully we are the ones rushing people and not the ones getting rushed. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some of the quality life changes. So, they added a hotbar manager into the uh, Bedwars NPC, so you can change your hotbar, uh, and actually you can change your quick buy without going into the into a Bedwars game and potentially like losing or anything. And now, whenever you're purchasing a sword from the shop, it will actually replace the sword instead of just add a new one and then get rid of the old one. So now, if you drop a sword and you accidentally pick it up, you won't it won't get rid of your wood sword. It will uh, it will replace it. So that's good, I guess. They changed the price of chainmail from uh, 30 to 24 iron. Changed water bucket prices to from three gold to two gold. They changed it in um, in threes and in solos and threes and fours. In threes and fours, they changed it from six to three. They also changed the sponge price uh, from three gold to two gold, and then from six to three. I don't really know why. Maybe it's because they want more people like using this stuff. I, I think the chainmail one is so they want more people using it. Maybe so it becomes part of the new meta. I'm not really sure. They also changed the price of bed bugs from 30 to 24. Yeah, none of this really affects me. I'm still not really gonna buy chain, bed bugs, sponge, or water buckets that much. I don't think I'm really ever gonna buy this stuff. I think Hypixel is just trying to like maybe push new items into the meta. They also made it so if you upgrade your forge, it will uh, increase the amount of resources that your forge can hold. So like, I think the max is what, 48 uh, iron and eight gold. Well now it'll change depending on what level of forge you have. They also fixed a bunch of bugs. I'll just leave a screenshot on the screen if you guys wanna check it out, pause the video here, just look at it. And uh, this, this map's interesting. I don't really mind it. I don't think I'd queue it that much, but still. Let's test out mid, let's go mid and see where what we're doing. So this map sort of reminds me of Zarzal. It's really big, there's long rushes, you don't really know where to go. And the diamond gens are back there. So yeah, this is definitely giving Zarzal vibes. I don't like this map as much as the first one, so I don't think I'd queue this as much, but... Hello. What are you doing? Wow, you actually got diamonds, that's interesting. No! Don't throw him out! No! He threw the diamonds, bruh. What the heck? He just disconnected. Oh, poor guy. That's so funny. Oh, there's yellow. Do I hit him with that? Do I- I think I do. Yo? Oh, dang. You're actually, like, good. Do I, I think I hit him again. I didn't get him. Wow, what a legend. This guy is a clutch master, it seems. Ooh, ladder clutch. <laughs> I hit him off. Let's just diagonal bridge over to his base. I don't like this map as much. I don't think I'd queue it regularly, but, uh, you know, it's a nice addition. It's good to have variety in the maps. Like, I'm open to new maps. Even if they are bad, like, I, I like new maps, no matter what. Unless they're like Babylon. Then I don't like new maps. Oh. Wow, that was a nasty combo. GG's, I got five beds, five finals. Wow, that's a good game. I'd give that map like a a five out of 10, maybe a four out of 10. I will not see you guys next time because I forgot to show off the practice mode. So we got bridging, MLG, fireball TNT jumping. That's already a thing. Now we go to pearl clutching. You click start and it spawns you like in the void somewhere and you have to pearl clutch on the island. And it's really easy actually. Uh, I just landed that. I could probably get like a million in a row. You can change it to make it harder, so you can do Shuffle Pearl, you can face random direction. Let's go Distance Extreme. It's also sort of easy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I might have just messed that one up. I did. Yeah, these, this is really cool, because it, it definitely does help you with, uh, with Pearl Clutching, but still, I like it. Now we go to Bow, and you can shoot the zombie. I have good aim, you can t tell. Oh, 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 oh! I can't even see this guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, this guy's fast. Hit him. This guy's like a hacker. I don't know where you'd f fight someone with this much speed. 
Anyways, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.